uh, welcome. Let's get started here. This was my first try playing Bant, Flash, and Modern. As you see, we had to mulligan to six. Just going to kind of go over this replay video real quick. See how we did. So the deck that I'm playing against was a graveyard deck uh, using Through the Breach and Nourishing Shoal. So we'll see some of that here. Sorry, the uh, recording quality isn't perfect. I'll try to talk through some of these cards as we go along. Ah, uh, there's Nourishing Shoal. So exiled a worm that cost 11. That worm will come up later. And then spliced through the breach onto Nourishing Shoal because of both arcane spells. So I was kind of in trouble here, but I managed to draw the uh, Wilderness Reclamation, which uh, allowed me to untap all my lands, which then allowed me to cast this Frilled Mystic and counter the spell. Unfortunately, I ended up with kind of one mana too much because I have the one bounce land on the very left. So anyways, I'm at 5 life, they're at 26. Things are not looking great for me. So here we go. They are reanimating the Grizzle Brand. And I decide to blink my Frilled Mystic in order to counter the spell. And then... Yeah, I get down the second Wilderness Reclamation, and next I'm going to cast a big Secure the Wastes. Create a lot of warriors, because it's pretty much the only thing I can do. I want to try to get some blockers or try to help close out the game here. So here we go. There we are. So we have is that 16 warriors. They surveil. This was just a casual game. Oh uh, yeah, Through the Breach. There's the worm from earlier, the one that cost 11. And I didn't read it. I thought when they sacrificed it, for some reason it wouldn't count as it dying. So I blocked with all but one token. So they still got the death trigger of getting three 5-5 five, five tramplers. But I was able to get in with Restoration Angel there, and I was able to then cast this big Sphinx's Revelation so I don't just die outright due to all of my triggers with Wilderness Reclamation. Here I decided to keep up Frilled Mystic Mana and not saving a pain land for Frilled Mystic because I was trying to watch my life total. So anyways, I did draw the Frilled Mystic off of Sphinx's Rev and was able to then counter that through through the Breach. So they're going to come swinging in. I decide to block to kill one and then block just to soak up some damage. Not sure if that was the correct move or not, but there you go. So uh, Eternal Witness... I had a lot of choices. I decided just to get back to secure the wastes because all they have are creatures on the ground right now. I do have a flying blocker for Grizzle Brand, which is the Restoration Angel. So I cast a big um, secure the wastes here and leave up mana for Elder Deep Fiend because I can emerge the Elder Deep Fiend with the Restoration Angel. So again, I'm not so sure about the timing of some of this. Whether I should have emerged on his upkeep or draw step or emerged when I actually did. Welcome back. Sorry, um, had some technical difficulties. So they were able to get down the worm and Grizzle Brand, activate Grizzle Brand a couple of times. Um, but then I merged my Elder Deep Fiend to tap down their reanimated creatures. They get back some worms, but then that's not enough, and I won the game. So I won the game through several Grizzlebrand activations. Um, 
the recap does kind of go fast so let me know if this is a format that you like or if you would prefer to have some stops and starts to get a little bit more of the action than the play-by-play -play. but yeah this is how i ended up beating a reanimator deck sphinx's rev to dig me out of the life hole that i was in and then uh, eternal witness to get back the secure the wastes uh, which led to the win so thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time